One more short update on crypto market condition. Uh, basically nothing changed. I would want to tell you something uh, that something interesting is happening, but in fact the for the recent uh, price action is really boring or if we'd had like if we return back to the crypto the, to the Bitcoin price uh, at this area we had some swings up and down but for the recent 24 hours or something we have very low um, volatility and it usually leads to some sudden change eventually and in, in fact we are trading within the same triangles the same channel uh, testing again the same resistance uh, levels uh, in and technically I would say we should go up from that point but uh, like if we'll even look at the higher time scale uh, and uh, re remember the previous low volatility period at 6000 plus uh, area per Bitcoin you would remember that we expected some sudden change after this period and again technically this triangle should be broken downwards uh, although we were try tried to be optimistic and expecting uh, it going up because of the several reasons but yeah again technically we were expected to going uh, going down and we went down so quite quite a lot after such a low volatility period so you would expect that if we have the low um, volatility you would probably be um, seeing some strong price action eventually and again technically so technically we were expecting to price to go down uh, anywhere down here again uh, after, so but the, the difference between those situations of course the time scale the second thing and the lab price level the second thing is the uh, um, history so it, it went actually from the higher point to this one or local high and at this one at this stage we are going from the minimum from the local minimum to the higher price and uh, if we would like look at this from like like that then you would see okay probably we um, are going up again because it's uh, sort of accumulation to the upside but uh, it's not it's not first clear because first is not clear because uh, that may be indeed our like if you follow the Elliott wave theory that this may be the fourth uh, Elliott wave and we'll now have the fifth wave which will go much lower to one thousand two thousand dollars something like that and the second thing is that um, if you would um, consider this to be falling from six thousand not growing from three then again it may be a continuation of accumulation of the short position so or, or partial uh, buying at this point but not uh, conti continual uh, well a continuation of the buy so maybe it will uh, drop even lower to collect even bigger liquidity because you remember in february there will be etf decision uh, hopefully positive if uh, the huge players expect or maybe even know the decision on ETF will be uh, positive then they would want to buy but they will have just like this month and a half before that in order to accumulate bigger position and in order to do that they will need to make price drop much lower to have uh, uh, panic in the market and collect as much as possible uh, on these panic sales because again positive decision on ETF will make the price rise anyway despite of the level it will drop to so um, I would want to tell you something more definitive but it's it's really unclear like uh, there is um, sort of classical technical approach which saying probably will go up more more, more like most likely will go up but we are in a very highly manipulative market so it's really risky to fall into some one of those um, uh, agendas one of those uh, um, like opinions so I would say if you have some position it's better to hold it and uh, if it will go higher just fix some profits but don't forget that we can always drop and then just keep your fiat for some of your fiat to load more of course if you believe in crypto as a long-term investment uh, also, I must say that 
we have this uh, total capitalization uh, wedge, total capitalization of altcoin wedge, which may be not the, really the wedge, but just triangle as we see for the Bitcoin, then it would be even more bullish. And uh, currently, <clears throat> again, not financial advice, but despite this, all, the whole situation with Bitcoin and alt altcoins start to seem a little bit like um, not scary, but um, a way like it makes people worried let's say like put it like that that we may drop much lower because we are uh, we can't break those uh, key levels and so on but i was looking at this wedge you remember this blue wedge of the altcoin capitalization i was saying that it's, it's a bearish um formation but how however however maybe that was a false breakout of the triangle with this flat uh, top and if that is so because again we see this one two three um, attempts to break this 61.5 billion dollars um, level and maybe actually I moved this level um, a bit higher to this to this uh, value so maybe it is actually a triangle not a wedge then both Bitcoin and altcoins are showing bullish um, in the bullish patterns which maybe not that bad um i mean like it is not 100 percent clear whether they will play out or not but they they just seem to be promising so uh looking at this point we will have like few days to see whether it will be like a flat continuation of the flat price action and sort of a calm exit from those patterns or we will see some more um breaking breaking movement somewhere up or upwards or or to the downside uh, but still probably set, uh, things will will be defined very soon um, another thing why i'm a bit more bullish than bearish is that a lot of the altcoins especially strong altcoins are showing um strength uh for example ether didn't return to the previous resistance uh, which we broke and doesn't test it, uh, try to test it, but actually going up and up and up. We are con uh, continue to to be trading below 200 days moving average, but um, do didn't f fall that far from that. Uh, very high chance that will go above. If yes, then it will be very bullish again. So like, it, if if the situation would be rather bearish. Then I would I would expect much um, lower price, but or, or uh, much higher, much, much lower pullback, but much stronger pullback. But it didn't happen. The same thing we can we can say with many other altcoins like XRP is basically uh, finished um, the correction of its previous growth almost to 100%, like 80% of this top to the previous um, starting point of, of this rise so i would expect it to be going up from that point again and we have this triangle and so on so also quite uh, bullish um, patterning uh, cardano also holding strong and even making some attempts to break these levels and and so on and many altcoins are doing the same thing so this is again mm, the thing which is which makes me believe that um, those those um, conditions will lead to the growth not to the drop things may happen you know guys but again judge by yourself um, the thing which i was going to mention today is this coin walton uh, you remember well I if you remember I was I was mentioning this several times before but the thing why I'm doing this now is that um, after the drop of Bitcoin to 3200 Walton was at this level what is 26 uh, thousand Satoshis or something uh, right and we had it um, growth to rose to something like uh, 10 20 percent well the maximum point was higher but then it basically returned to the level of like 10 15 percent higher than the low and comparing to the all other well i would say reasonable i alts not the complete sheet coins walton showed very small rise from the mid from the minimum point and in that at that sense it is in my opinion good uh, nice risk reward ratio nice um 
uh, buying opportunity because a lot of them are already already made some um, huge uh, rise in price up to probably almost this level if you look at the ether for example like if you compare the relative change in the price but walton didn't make it yet so of course the volatility of walton itself is not that strong uh, it's not as high as the other altcoins but still i think it's a nice chance to buy and i'm closely looking at this altcoin not financial advice but again up to you guys also i'm just uh, considering the volume which is at the bottom well at this at this low levels and it's it seems to be really high comparing to the all the flat region which was during the year the whole year you see although the price was rather high why it didn't uh, the huge players didn't sell at this those level while, while they could why if, if they were like collecting the short position I don't think it's reasonable because they may try to um, sell it at higher prices and push the price down even m much earlier but it didn't happen uh, I mean the volume wasn't there so I would expect that they are collecting uh, positions uh, long positions on Walton so am I at least I'm I'm considering that okay that is it for today the short it was not that short as i wanted but still let's look um closely what will happen eventually within this uh patterns which we looked at sorry for not being um definitive enough but that's the market i'm just translating what i'm seeing and hope to see you tomorrow guys thank you for being with me stay safe and with your safe trading goodbye